Why do PlayStation fans fear the success of Nintendo and Microsoft so much? Why do PlayStation fans fear the products of Nintendo and Microsoft so much? Why do PlayStation fans are always salty about Nintendo and Microsoft? Why are PlayStation fans capping, campaigning, getting on their knees, twerking for this laggy piece of shit that you see on your screen right now that's inferior to the damn Wii U gamepad? Why are they still out here capping for stuff that's inferior? Why are PlayStation fans willing to bend that back and get on their knees for that Sony brand. Why is that? Why is PlayStation fans so scared of the success that Microsoft is inevitably going to have and the success Nintendo continues to have? Why are PlayStation fans wanting Xbox to go third party so bad? Why are PlayStation fans hoping, wishing, and praying that the next Nintendo Switch, the Switch 2, the Switch Pro, whatever you want to call it, is inferior to the PS5? Why are PlayStation fans so uptight about pushing false narratives about Nintendo and Microsoft every chance they get? I think I have the answer to that. I think it's quite and simple. PlayStation fans, PlayStation fanboys, they're scared. They're absolutely terrified. And if we're being real 100% and we're being real honest about the situation right now, these PlayStation fans, they act like they are a gang. They act like they're worse than the Bloods and the Crips. They act like they're worse than the Mafia. It is the most cesspool-ridden of individuals I ever experienced in gaming in my life. And they're disgusting. But I understand why they do it. Because they are scared. Because they understand one thing. Well, actually, they understand a couple of things. If Nintendo ever gets equal playing field in the third-party aspect on their console that the PlayStation has... It's game over for the PlayStation brand. If Microsoft develops and flourish with their first party line of studios that they have now and how it will play out, they know their PlayStation brand is finished. PlayStation fans understand one thing and one thing only. They have to cap. They have to dance, they have to get on their knees, they have to twerk for daddy, and they have to arch that damn back to make themselves feel like they're superior. To make themselves feel great about buying a piece of shit like the PlayStation Portal. To make themselves feel great about cha campaigning for a studio like Naughty Dog that's releasing a remaster of a game that came out two years ago. They have to campaign and twerk for daddy to make themselves feel like they have a lineup for 2024. They have to campaign and twerk for daddy to make themselves feel like buying a PS5 at a high price rate was worth it. They have to make themselves feel great about what they purchase. In reality, they understand that what they purchase is not worth the damn price of admission. They have to twerk and get on their knees for daddy and arch that back because they know they have no leadership right now. Connie Booth is gone. Sean Layton ain't coming back. Jim Ryan retiring. They have to get on their knees and twerk for daddy and arch that back simply because they understand they are on a failing brand. Sony has failed you PlayStation fans over and over and over again for the last few years and all you have done is been the most hypocritical asinine ignorant some of bitches i have ever seen in my damn life and y'all the most toxic thing to gaming y'all the most toxic thing to gaming industry and y'all the most toxic thing to gaming community right now because you don't hold your own company accountable. You sit back and you twerk and you get on your knees and you arch that back for the hypocritical bullshit that your company spews at you. All I have to say is this. Get your shit together. Because one thing you got to understand there's better products out there than a PlayStation brand. There's better games out there than a PlayStation brand. There's better experiences out there than a PlayStation brand. But I think y'all know that. But for some reason, Sony is a hell of a drug. And y'all bitches need to get off it.